Okay, I'm back and I'm pretty excited about this because today I have an unboxing of the Apple Watch Ultra. It just came in the mail. I have pre-ordered it. So let's get right into it. Um, I am an Apple Watch wearer. I have the Series 7 in gold. I wear the Apple Watch every day. So pretty excited about the Watch Ultra as a new product line because the Apple Watch has largely remained unchanged as far as design of course the size has gotten a little bit bigger and i am filming this on a 20 millimeter wide angle lens so the size of things will be a little bit distorted but it's kind of the only way i can get things to fit so here is the box really nice it's a little bit different than the boxes used to be we used to have narrow long boxes on the regular series um the regular series i guess because now the ultra is its own thing but the packaging is nice the paper actually feels like some kind of um feels kind of like a recycled plastic so as is kind of typical we have two little pull tabs by the way I have it here in the uh, Alpine the green Alpine loop and wow that that is really nice <laughs> that is really nice packaging so right up top we're greeted with a little booklet and of course we have all this design this mountain scenery snow mountain scenery that you can aspire to and that that is kind of what i am i am an aspirational athlete i guess you can call it i'm not super outdoorsy but i do enjoy going on the the odd hike here and there uh, i go on some runs sometimes i play basketball a couple of times a week and i'm trying to get into jujitsu which is kind of the one area where you can't really wear the apple watch so this booklet is really nice it kind of details all the parts of the watch. Uh, it's highlighting all the features and functions. That is pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. And at the end we have a little sleeve with some warranty paperwork. So we'll set that to the side. Here is the box with the watch itself. And of course, underneath is the Alpine Loop. So pretty cool packaging. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. Um, really does uh, give the vibes of being an outdoorsy watch. So let's get right into the watch first. So of course we have our standard pull tabs. These are more like paperish pull tabs. I noticed with the 14 Pro Max also the, the box. I think last year the pull tabs had a little bit more of like a plasticky feel these you can even hear it they're more papery so maybe they're a little more eco-friendly and let's see what the box looks like and the watch itself of course we'll get to that very quickly in a second we have the charging cable with some coordinates here i'm gonna guess that that's <laughs> i'm gonna guess that's cupertino uh, so let's take a look at the cable if i can pop this open there it is so yeah, it's a USB-C to the Apple Watch end. And oh yeah, this is a really nice braided cable. Let me get this out of here. Let's see. Kind of tough to get that out, but there it is. I'll bring that close to the camera, see if that kind of comes in. That is a really nice braided cable. I think maybe I'll switch to using this cable from my Series 7 cable that fast charges. So, you know, I have the MagSafe Dual Charger, but nowadays I don't even use it because it doesn't do fast charging for the Series 7. So with the Apple Watch, the last month or two, I started wearing it overnight for sleep tracking. In the past, I wouldn't wear a watch. It just seemed like kind of cumbersome, but it's interesting to see the sleep tracking to see how many hours of sleep i'm getting i happen to average around six to six and a half hours of sleep so it's pretty cool so because of that i don't charge overnight anymore on the MagSafe dual charger i'll charge 20 30 minutes here and there and that's enough to get by so let's unpack the watch itself pretty hefty it's got a little bit of a paper now of course the watch only does come in one color it's raw titanium I would have liked, I think, a darker color, but I don't mind the light colors either. Last year I had gotten the Graphite Series 7 at first, but then ended up exchanging it for the gold, because I used to have the gold Series 5 that was kind of the dark bronze kind of gold, and I do like it. Um, so let's see what this looks like. And there it is. That is pretty nice. It is definitely 
kind of bulky, but uh, we'll take a look around. So that is the new action button. Good feedback. Uh, it's not super clicky actually, it's kind of dampened, so uh, it won't come up on the mic because I have the mic facing towards me, but it doesn't make any kind of click sound. Here you can hear the side button has a little bit of a click, and the crown is pretty damp also. Uh, bigger crown than the Series 7. Oh, I might have activated some access accessibility function. Um, so yeah. It is actually not bad. There are screws on the back, gives it kind of a rugged look. I'm not sure if that's user accessible for battery replacements or anything like that. And um, I will go ahead and put a strap on it. Let's first put on this blue sport band that I have. I have all my straps there to see how it looks. And I'll go ahead and put it on my wrist. So I wear um, the small, the small medium sport loop and I wear it on the third button so that kind of gives an idea of my wrist size. I think I measured my wrist last year maybe and I think it might have been like 165 millimeters so there's how it looks on first impression on this wide angle. It is pretty bulbous <laughs> on my wrist so I'm not sure I'll have to keep it on for a little while to see how I feel comfort wise and you know especially looks wise but it is definitely a much much different look. Uh, not too much bigger than the Series 7. And as far as weight, I do wear the stainless steel series watches, so the weight actually doesn't feel that much different. I know the uh, Ultra is, I think, uh, about 10 grams heavier than the stainless steel Series 7, so something else that I'll pay attention to as I try out the watch. So let's take a look. Oh, grab the wrong box. Let's also take a look at the Alpine Loop that came with the watch designed just for the Ultras. Even though, as you can see, obviously, if you have a 44, uh, yeah, a 44 or 45 millimeter older watch, 42 actually, 42 and 45, the straps will work just fine with the Ultra. And let's see if there's a little bit of a gap on the sides. Not too much of a gap that I can see. Pretty seamless. So actually, let's set that down over there and we'll take a look at the Alpine Alpine strap. Okay, this is pretty cool. I like this. <laughs> I like this packaging. It's pretty neat. Um, neatly done. Nicely done. And it's all like opening up booklets. There is the Alpine strap. It's a nice kind of olive green color and your usual paperwork. So let's pull this out. And this I got in the medium size. So we'll get a little closer look at that. The hardware is all titanium as well to match the titanium ultra watch. And of course it has this G hook that kind of gives it a, like a climber's look, you know, like if you're climbing and you have uh, carabiners and things like that, it kind of recalls that, that kind of a look. Pretty lightweight. The feel of it is, you know, similar to the nylon. It is kind of a cloth material, but because of these loops that you hook the G-hook into, it adds a little bit of thickness compared to the nylon straps. So let's get this on the watch and see how that looks. Um, I'm also keen to try the trail loop. Actually, I think I might prefer the trail loop to the Alpine loop, uh, but you know, maybe the Alpine loop will grow on me the green color. Uh, so typically, I, I've seen in videos that Apple has this hook on this side. I've always worn the watches with the loops, with the loop end facing me. So let's say on this one from a couple of years ago, it's a two-tone color. That's facing outward. But let's try it here and see how it looks with that strap facing inward. And just a second while I get this on. I think I'll leave this part in the video so everyone can see kind of the procedure to get it on. So that feels just about right. And then you snap this through there. There it is. So actually that's kind of a little loose, but that's how it looks. And let me switch my arm around to this side. <laughs> so you can see how it looks with the, the little loopholes on the outside. 
So yeah, not too bad. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, I'm not sure how the style will be for me. You know, I'll try it with my straps. I'm gonna keep it on daily. But I was excited for it for a couple of reasons. Uh, initially, I thought that the screen size was gonna be significantly be bigger, but actually the screen uh, is a little deceiving because there are bezels the way the older watches used to have. Now the Series 7, the bezel is very tiny. And by bezel, I mean the, the little black border. I'm not talking about the actual stainless steel casing. So the screen size is actually almost the same as the Series 7. Um, so there's not much to be gained in terms of screen size, but like I said, it is a completely different style. It's a little bulkier, looks a little more uh, athletic, I guess, rugged, outdoorsy. So it kind of switches the style up. And like I said in my Series 7 review last year, part of wearing a watch is that it's fashion. It's not just function because you keep it on your wrist. Now, Apple Watches, of course, are a dime a dozen. Um, they're very popular. So many people have them and wear them. And with, you know, good reasoning, even, you know, me being one of them. So the Ultra being a new style, uh, I'm kind of keen to switch the style up every so often and have a different watch for daily wear. So here I'm just putting on the Midnight Leather Link, which I also really like. And the blue and the blue and the titanium is a pretty handsome pair, if you ask me. Um, similar to having a silver watch. So yeah, uh, I'm interested because of the style. I'm also very interested to see what it's like to have an Apple Watch with longer battery life. Like I said, now I wear my Apple Watch basically 24/7, uh, and I'm in the habit of you know if I'm in the shower, I'm in the habit of charging it. You know, and in about half an hour, I basically get close to full um, on the charge. And maybe 24 hours later, it's down to about 40%, um, which is pretty good. To me, I think the battery life is not bad on the Series 7, but I'm curious to see what it's like having the longer battery life, uh, what it's like having the action button for launching uh, quick workouts and the versatility of it. And also just what I feel like with the style of the Apple Watch Ultra. On first impression, it's pretty decent. I'm not sure if I can make it work, especially with my wrist size. You know, I can say for sure, if you're watching this on video, my wrist looks smaller, the watch looks even more bulbous. In person to my eyes, it's not terrible. I'm gonna have to get it on to a normal size lens, maybe a 35 mill millimeter lens, and stand further apart to show you guys what it looks like uh, on my wrist. I remember last year I had a lot of comments that even the 45 millimeter Series 7 is too big on my wrist. But I can say that in person, it it looks pretty good. I've never had anyone in real life mention, hey, that watch is a little, a little too big for you. So there it is. That's the packaging, the first unboxing and the first look of the Apple Watch Ultra. Really nice packaging and uh, pretty nice watch. Hope that helps some of you out there. Thanks for watching.